you have another nightmare? <sighs> They're getting worse, aren't they? I'm sorry, little guy. I wish I knew where to take you to find some help. You know what? I always go with my gut instincts to tell me where I need to go next. What's your gut telling you? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go get some food. I'm pretty hungry, too. <laughs> List. No way. I have not seen one of those in ages. Mind if I sit? Great, thanks. I'm Kellen Thorne. The great space explorer? Well, I uh, don't have a pen to give an autograph anyway, so... Uh, but wow! I mean, forget about me, this little guy. Where did you find him? Nowhere special, I just found him on board a wreck of a caterpillar floating around Yella. Yella? Like Crusader Moon Yella? Whoever trafficked him by out of Pyro had their work cut out for him. Hmm. I guess that would explain the nightmares that he's been having. Hmm. Well, they could be calling out to him. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did you just say? Who's been calling out to him? His tribe. Oh, wow. You really ought to know who you're traveling with. You see, they're species. It's kind of nomadic. They were native to Pyro 3, but since we started moving in, they've dispersed. No matter how far they go, they can always find their way back to each other. So, do you think that there might be a way to use his dreams to track down his tribe? Potentially. They use this uh, relic, a special signal booster of sorts. It helps cast their thoughts far out into space so tribes can connect with each other. But I doubt it will be in Stanton. I mean, the fact that he's here is weird in and of itself. Well, I guess it's time to head to Pyro then. Oh, yeah, I don't think so. Yui's got the jump point locked down because the gangs have been getting rather audacious. Especially the Ninetales. Damn. Whoever stored you on that ship must have been carrying some special cargo too, huh, little guy? It's, it's Kellen, right? Is there any chance that you might have seen a caterpillar wreck make landfall somewhere? Sadly, no. But even if I did, I wouldn't think anything of it. I've got some deliverables for a touring company contract, and Rex ain't exactly on their list of POIs. But if I happen to see a Drake hole sticking out of the ground, you'll be the first to know. Thanks, Kellen. We really appreciate it. Some help is better than none. Well, little guy, there's no time like the present. Let's go get fueled up and see what we can find out in the black. Okay, kid, we have been at this for weeks. I think Kellen was right about one thing. You being here alone is a miracle, but finding this artifact? I don't think lightning will strike twice. Hey, don't look at me like that. I'm just saying that after this little adventure, we need to get back to making some actual credits. Hopes and dreams won't fill this quantum tank. And I still cannot believe you dragged us all the way to Daymar on a gut feeling. This cave looks like all the others. But because I'm a completionist, I will go check out the rest of the cave for you. I... I... <laughs> I don't believe it, kid. You were right, your, 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 your artifact, it's, it's actually here. We actually might be able to get you back home. I have never seen anything like this. It actually kind of, it kind of tingles. Are you, are you sure this thing is safe to even hold? But anyways, th th this is what we're looking for, right?
Come on. I'm sure Kellen will know what to do with this. Hey boss, I think I got him. Come check this out. You see that constellation out there? Yeah. Yeah, the scans are coming back positive. Now, where the hell is our fury? Just out for a little joyride, boss, but I got them on radar. I'll go get them on the ground ASAP. Ah, I knew it was too quiet out here. Buckle up back there, kid. I'm gonna try to shake him. It's gonna be a real pumpy ride, though. Hang on! <laughs> you all right back there? I don't think I have too much time. <coughs> this might be the end of the line, my man. Take it easy. You've been in a crash. You're safe now. Your armor is messed up. And your helmet? Well, you're lucky to be alive. It wasn't... It wasn't just a crash that messed me up. I'm sorry, what did you say? Someone or something was after us. After my friend, actually. Hanton is getting less and less safe these days. There's been a fair amount of troublemakers out at the Lagrange points. The aggression seems to be spreading planetside now. Whoever they are, it's a bold move. Uh, that's not the best news to hear. You didn't happen to see a little penguin looking guy when you found me, did you? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Let's go talk someplace where we can both sit. I think your concussion might be worse than I estimated. And no, you were the only one on site. And even after all of that, at least I still got this. Whoa, where the hell did you find that? I've been out in the black for a long time. I've never seen one of those. This thing, it's its kind of like a, it's like a signal booster. At least that's what I was told. I'm not really sure, but it was extremely important to my friend. Hmm, I may know someone who could actually have a use for this. Oh yeah? And does your contact expect a heavy sum of credits for information? <laughs> Not exactly. He's more of a favors guy, if you know what I mean. <sighs> Fine. Can you arrange a meeting? Possibly. Uh, I have to bounce some signals around, but I'll get it done. Thanks for saving my life and helping me out. What was your name, by the way? Leo. Leo Langer. It's a pleasure to meet you. But he's waiting for us over here. Been a long time. Looks like things have been working out well for you. Wow. This place, seriously, it's a little public, don't you think? Well, owning the place, I can make it as public or as private in this case as I want. Luckily for you, though, you didn't just come back from the dead to look at my bar now, did you? My friend here says you may have something of interest for me. So this is what everyone's fighting over. Take a seat. 
Leo, can you give us a minute? Go easy on him. Good luck, kid. Okay, so you know what this is then? A man in my position is privy to a lot of knowledge, but this... This does not belong here. Where did you find this? If you absolutely have to know, I, I found it on Daymar. Long story short, my friend found it. We've kind of been looking for this thing for a long time, and we believe it's going to get him back to Pyro. Pyro, huh? Haven't heard that name in a long time. I thought I sealed off access to it, but it looks like the rumor mill is true and they figured out a way to get back. Look, you've obviously got a lot going on, you got your fingers in a lot of cookie jars, and I am not here to step into a galactic gang war. I just want to know where they took my friend and how to get it back home. Getting back is going to be a lot easier than getting him. But as for you, everyone thinks you're dead. And if we're going to make this work, I'd like to keep it that way. Okay, I'm listening. See, Pyro's always been a problem child, and you have a lot of issues. However, you help me with mine, I'll help you get the kid back. And what exactly do you need me to do? I have a long list of names. Scratch them off that list for you, and I'll start giving you information as soon as I get it. As for you, this is an advance. Scan it at a terminal, and I'll have something bright and shiny waiting for you. And does the verse still think I'm dead? As far as they're concerned, you never existed. Fantastic. Well, thanks. You better let me know as soon as you hear anything, or this whole partnership just will not work. You do your job, and I'll do mine. Only as long as you get it done. Welcome aboard. Our mutual friend left you a little something on the table. Why don't you put it on and meet me in the cockpit? Nice to finally meet you. We have a long list of names here. Where should we go first? First, I'm gonna pay a few friends a visit. 